you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Ah. The Lord is opening my eyes again. And like He always shows me, I'm seeing Kogi State. Kogi State. I'm seeing fire falling on people right now. Kogi State. Every orchestration planted that is tying men down in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them, please. I bring you liberty right now. I bring you liberty right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I bring you liberty right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray a prayer of release. God is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the hands of people tied. When your hands are tied spiritually, no matter what you do physically, believe me, it will not work. You will do the best that you know to do. But I'm about to pray. Those chains will be broken right now. Father, every hand that is tied in the realm of the spirit, affecting their productivity, their capacity to make structural progress at, in the name of Jesus Christ. Kapato Katebata. My God, I'm seeing fire falling at the count of three. One, two, three. Let that fire fall now. Fall now in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone with the name Monica? Monica. I'm hearing the name Monica. Monica. Don't just stand up and go. There is a reason why I ask that they bring them out. I'm about to pray for them. Monica. I'm hearing the name Monica. I don't know if that is your name. These are the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit. Monica. I'm also hearing the name Adams. Who is Adams? Adams. Oppression must come to an end right now. Adams. I'm hearing a name, Adams. Who is Monica? Please verify that that is their name. You are Monica. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on a woman right now. You get pregnant, but it never crosses three months. The moment is past three months, you will have a dream in the night. And the moment you have that dream, you will lose that pregnancy. Right now, the power of God is coming upon that woman right now. I decree and declare, wherever she is, wherever she is, I break that hold now. I break that hold. Monica, let me pray for you. Please, I want you to hold two people who will now begin to run by the anointing and come out. Because I'm looking and I'm seeing a serpent. This, I'm seeing like a snake. This is what I'm seeing. I'm not saying they are snakes. But this is just what God is showing me. In the name of Jesus, hold them and bring them out. Let me pray for you. My goodness, Monica, two of you, there is, there is fire that is falling on you now. I just saw a strong anointing. I'm praying for all of you, but this tie of witchcraft over your life, it must go right now. I stretch my hands. Father, according to your word, in the name of Jesus, help them please. I command that oppression. Go now, out of them now, in the name of Jesus Christ out of them now 
release their lives and release their destinies. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a gentleman. You work with civil defense. Civil defense. This is what I'm saying. You are a gentleman. You work with civil defense. I'm not giving your name, but the Lord is saying you work with civil defense. If there is such a person, please let me pray for you very quickly. Because we are still going to minister deliverance. Adams. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you, Adams. The power of God is coming on one of you. The Lord is saying you are ending a season and beginning a new one. I decree and declare right now, may that anointing come upon you. I shift you to heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, please take care. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare right now, let there be liberty for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where do you work, my friend? Civil defense. What's your name? Paul. How long have you been there? Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. Joined 2000 and, 2012. Have you gone abroad? Yes. Do you know why I'm saying that? I'm not a prophet of doom. But I'm seeing you inside a plane. And I'm seeing God taking you out of this country. This is what I'm seeing. This is, this is like, I don't know if it's that you and your family are moving, but God is just telling you to prepare because your days, they are numbered. God is shifting you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be for you even as He has spoken. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you as He has spoken. For all those who are out here under the anointing, I command the spirit and the devils oppressing them and their families. I speak as one sent and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I declare, leave their destinies and their families now. Go, go, go. Out of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of their destinies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release them and everything you have taken from their lives and their destinies. Let there be a sevenfold restoration now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to pray. There are families where people rise. And they get to a particular point. And just when they are about to climax. In their pursuit and their career. Something must happen to them. And bring them down in shame. There are many people like that. And there are many families like that. Diligent people. They get to the zenith of their pursuit. And then something brings them down. I want to pray over those people right now. And the power of God is going to come upon them. i like for your heart to be open. And I want you to receive it as a prayer. Thank you Lord Jesus. Every family under this kind of yoke. That rises to get to a particular point, And just when you are the apex, the climax, the zenith of your pursuit. These forces bring you down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare right now, I'm praying. There are two ladies that will shout now under the anointing based on this prayer. The moment that happens, the power of God will begin to move to touch people. This is what the Lord is telling me. Two ladies whose families and lives are victims of this. In the name of Jesus, the moment that happens, the power of God will begin to set people free. Two ladies. Help them. Please bring them out. We are praying right now. Everyone under the sound of my voice, whose life and family are a victim of this manifestation of rising to a particular point and going down right now i decree and declare be, be delivered in the name of jesus be 
delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. I want to rebuke the spirit of delay. Now hear me. There are people here, you may not necessarily be victims of delay directly, but your, your pace of growth is too slow. What can be done in one month takes you 10 years. I don't mean to insult you, but there are some of you you've been building forever, and it looks like the grace to finish is not there. I tell you, the, the fire of God will fall on many people based on this prayer. I'm about to pray and you will shout that name. That everything that has tied your life and destiny, bringing delay. You know that delay is at work in your life when the only thing that grows in your life is your age. Nothing else grows. Only your age. You know that there is delay there. Therefore, I pray right now, my God, I sense fire even on my own hands. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. As you shout that name inside and outside, everyone who is a victim of that oppression, that demonic structure, will be liberated right now. I decree and declare, against the spirit of delay, we come against you by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, Three, shout Jesus. Delay. Be broken now. Help them, my God. Delay. Be broken now. Over lives. Over families. Be broken now. Hallelujah. Many years ago, I used to have demon spirits come to oppress me. And because of the prophetic, I would see the spirits enter. I would shout in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, and nothing would happen. Because the real miracle is not in the chanting of the name like a charm or a genie. It's in the revelation of it. But the Lord is opening my eyes right now. Please look at me. There are people you would have made maximum progress. Pay attention. But you go back to bed. And you are seeing yourself in secondary school. You are seeing yourself in I want to pray a very serious prayer for you right now. Count for how it came. What happened? Almost all of them had similar dreams. Maybe not exactly the same, but similar. They go to bed and someone comes to them with a syringe. Like a, a real syringe in a dream. And injects them and tells them, this is HIV. Are we together? And they wake up and after a few months, they begin to have physical symptoms. They go to the hospital and they will tell you, this thing is demonic. And because of their fear to not be stigmatized, they will not seek help and not say anything and keep quiet until it eats them up. I declare liberty. I declare liberty. There is a lady I'm praying for you by the spirit because i'm seeing that there seems to be this fraternity and this spiritual union with entities that anybody who comes and is considering you whether for marriage or whatever it looks like there is this something suddenly happens the jealousy and the manifestation of this spirit will completely abort that agenda in the name of jesus right now i'm praying Bring them out. Kaparato seteketia. Sida bagata paruski ata balakata. Kratos seteketia. That's right. Mandika paruski ketika. 
I decree and declare whatever spirit is binding itself to you in this false spiritual union we break that relationship now we break that relationship now we break that relationship now there are whole families that are victims of this not just individuals I'm still praying I don't know why God is showing me women I know that this affects both men and women but I'm seeing women I'm still praying right now every embargo that has covered your glory and your face so that the good that should come to you does not arrive right now in the be delivered in the name of Jesus be delivered in the name of Jesus be delivered in the name of Jesus hallelujah please look at me I want to pray a very serious prayer for you now and I want you to pay attention there is a mystery in the spirit called the book of remembrance the Bible says in the book of Esther that once upon a time a man who sat at the gate who was an uncle to the village girl that would later become queen over 127 provinces Hadassah or Esther the Bible now says one time they conspired to kill the king Ahasuerus and Mordecai was privy to that information and he supplied that information and he preserved the life of the king but the king forgot him there are many of you here if your effort and your contribution to the life of others were to be rewarded you would never be where you are but in a strange way there seems to be a spirit that trails your progress you help the rising of many but it looks like you are forgotten I'm about to pray for you because something is coming on you. Listen, listen, listen. Can I tell you this? God does not forget, but men can forget. Believe me when I tell you that the distance between you and your next level is one destiny helper away. This is the world of men. God uses men to lift. God uses men to help. The wine presser and the baker, they were both helped by Joseph. And Joseph made a plea and said, I am in this prison, but I am innocent. I don't have the power to advocate my innocence. Please, when you are reinstated, use your influence to talk to the king, the pharaoh for me, that they should come and get me out of this place. The one press I forgot him for two years. One man's forgetfulness added two years of pain to another man. But the Bible says that night could not the king sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. And when they opened it, they found there, they read it before him. And he said, who is in the chamber there? Haman was there. The arch enemy of the people of God. He said, what shall be done to a man who has done so and so? I want to pray for you now. When I came into this city, I found out that over, arguably, 50 to 70 percent of the opportunities and the lifting of men in this city is purely by relationship even beyond competence relationships someone can stand by you and hold your hand and wipe your tears forever just because of relationship can i tell you this there are many competent people who cannot rise because the person to speak their praises to the kings is not there can I pray for you? This is my assignment tonight. Many pastors have helped the rising of many and they've been forgotten. They do ministry as if they are not called. Many business people participated in the lifting of others. 
and were long forgotten. Many of you here, you played major roles in the rising of people in this city. And as it is, no one seems to pay attention to you. I want to pray grace on your life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit that makes your helpers to forget you, I decree and declare that spirit departs from your life now. Receive it. It departs from your life now. Hear me. This man standing before you is I am I am by the mercy of God the recipient of the remembrance of people who God used me to help and to lift at one point or the other. Believe me when I tell you when your helpers remember you one day can be equivalent to 10 years for you. Let me pray for you. There are jobs here. There are visions here that are the mercy of the grace of God to help us. Right now, by the power of the prophetic, for everyone who has been forgotten here, leaving you in shame, leaving you in pain, I decree and declare, let the book of remembrance be open for you now. Let the book of remembrance, archiving your diligence, archiving your honesty, archiving your sincerity, archiving your competence, let it be open for your sake now. There are people standing here right now whose documents are under the carpet in many offices i will do something about it and they sweep it under the carpet and leave it there sir have you considered i uh, will we'll do something and sweep it there in the name of jesus wherever it was swept to we bring it out to visibility we bring it out to visibility in the name of jesus christ We'll, we'll pray for the sick shortly. But let me pray one more, one more prayer. It is possible for your helpers to come late. Life is a function of timing. It is possible for your helper to come, but then to come late. The value of help is when it comes on time let me repeat it again the value of help is that it comes on time listen to me there are many people today if help came on time their loved ones will not be dead help came when they were buried and someone will say ah i didn't know the text you sent me the mail you sent me if i had seen it i would have supported i want to pray for you it's not enough to call for help. Help must come on time. It says, satisfy me early with your mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, everywhere help has been ordained to come for you. Between November and the end of this year. In the help them, my God. Help them up the balcony there. In the name that is above all names, between November, I'm saying it by prophecy, I stand under this apostolic and prophetic grace. May your help not escape December 2021. <laughs> Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. May your help, Kapatos Katebata, let it not escape December 2021. Therefore I prophesy to the east, I prophesy to the west, I prophesy to the north and to the south, wherever your help is, I gravitate it towards your destiny.
I am the Lord that He led thee. I am the Lord your healer. I sent my word and heal your disease. I am the Lord. One more time with faith in your heart. I am the Lord. That He let thee. I am the Lord. Your healer, I sent my word, and it healed your disease. Listen, the Bible says Jesus was speaking. And he said, as my father has sent me, he said, even so, send I you. As my father sent me, with the same mandate and the same backing. The same mandate and the same backing. My mission was to reveal the love of the father and to connect the world to the father. So that they walk back in that dominion and they become envoys envoys, advocates, kings and priests. Now I send you. But to do that, you will need the equipping, the backing of heaven. So how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. When Jesus came and stood up for to read, Luke chapter 4 says that it was given to him the scroll of Isaiah and he found where it was written concerning him that the spirit of the Lord is upon me For he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To release, to preach deliverance to them who are captive and recovery of sight. And to set at liberty them that are bruised. And then when he was done reading, he said, the Bible says he closed the book and kept it. And sat down and he said, this scripture... Is fulfilled in your eyes. The healing ministry is one of the cardinal ministries that reveal the love of Jesus. Why? Because the authorized means of remaining on the earth is that you must have a mortal body. Listen, this is the theology of healing. Healing is not merely just administering the power of God to a human body. It's an attempt by the Spirit of God to bring you to a point of health and vitality because the spirit of man or any spirit requires a certain health condition in a human body to be able to remain. When the body is broken and deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, the spirit will have to be separated from the body in an event we know and call death. Are we together now? So every time you are sick, it's like death knocking on your door. Would you give me a chance? From a slight sickness as headache, pain, whatever it is. So when Jesus comes to bring healing through his servants, it is his commitment to preserve you in health and vitality so that you can have the body prepared for you to be able to do that which he has mandated you to do. You're sick in your body. Now is the time for you to receive your healing. I want you to lay your hand very quickly. I truly believe in the healing ministry. The last three months, the Lord has been speaking to me again. That some of the manifestations of the power of God that we saw with the generals. Our fathers of blessed memory who have joined the cloud of witnesses today. Most of them moved marvelously in the 60s and the 70s across Europe, across the U.S., and even in Africa here, there were men and women. Most of them died living a prophetic word that a moment will come in the history of the church and in the future of the church where there will be a marvelous move of the Spirit. 
and young men and women will arise and there will be a restoration of that healing mantle. Can I tell you sincerely, our generation has not really, once if you are younger than, respectfully speaking, say 45 downwards or maybe 40 downwards, that generation has not really witnessed the move of the spirit, the healing ministry with power, the way that most of our parents and our fathers would tell us. Sometimes you will hear the things that they would say and you will think they were exaggerations. I've had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few people before they passed on who were marvelously used by God to change nations. And my concern was not just impartation from them. I wanted to ask them, what were the prophetic words that you received? And I can tell you this, before Jesus returns, once again, that water, that pool, will be stirred in a remarkable way. Believe me when I tell you this. There's going to be a great awakening. There's going to be a great revival in our land. There's going to be a great awakening. And everyone... Who calls on Jesus? I'm going to pray for the sick now. But I want you to know, know this for sure, that the move of the Spirit is coming. And before we round up this service tonight, I will pray. I know that there may be one or two people here that God is already training you. As part of that glorious, that mighty army that will carry these end time mantles of healing. For you, you did not just come for a miracle service to receive. You are still in the, in, 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 God is still working on you. Be patient with him. We are not just talking of healing in a service. Headache, wheelchair, thank God for that. But men whose shadows like Peter will heal the sick. I believe this with all my heart. I believe this with all my heart. That before Jesus comes, believe me when I tell you, there will be such a move of the Spirit. Ordinary people, men and women, you have not seen them on TV yet. Nobody even knows them. They may not be in active ministry yet. No one is celebrating them. The Lord is training them, pruning them, building them. And when He's ready, He will blow them like a shofar to the nations. And I tell you, Africa and Nigeria has a major prophetic role to play in taking back this healing anointing to the nations. I believe this. It will happen in our lifetime. We will see it. Like natural resources, we will export the power of God as a commodity to the nations. Believe me when I tell you this. Men and women will carry fire. Some of you, God will send you to Europe to go back and salvage the decadence that is going there. Some of you, God will send you back to US, Canada, send you across, even to Asia. For now, let's pray for the sick. Please lay your hand as a point of contact. I want you to believe in the power of Jesus to heal. I know he heals. I don't just believe he heals. I know that Jesus heals. Oh, nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Oh, nobody like you, Lord. Now, do you know, I was so humbled when I found out that many hospitals in Abuja here and many hospitals across the nations 
people who are with patience connect to the miracle service like so many are doing right now you've heard of the marvelous miracles of people in the hospital very humbling to see what the power of god is doing and if you are in the hospital right now connecting with someone whatever the situation is i want you to believe lay your hands and let's pray as i pray for you i want you to shout a loud amen i will rebuke that spirit and command that spirit to give way now um i don't know how we'll do it because this is the last miracle service and i have a section for impartation so what we're going to do is um probably we may not have people come out to share testimonies let's just let's just um let's sacrifice that section of the meeting in as much as it's good to declare the faithfulness of god but there is a lot we still have prayer requests here and then i still want to take out five ten minutes and release something upon your life a, a marvelous manifestation of the anointing so i will just pray for you as god touches you and blesses you from next week you can do well to come and testify my apologies it's our culture to always take the testimonies and celebrate jesus but now that we have taken time to do this we may just sacrifice that so that we can do the general prayer and then we do the impartation the impartation is a major part of tonight's meeting that's why many people traveled across nations and came here hallelujah there is somebody god is calling you into the prophetic but it looks like you touch that realm and come back you touch that realm and come back some of you even travel to come the lord is saying there is a mantle there is a grace it's a seer anointing the grace not just dreams the grace for sight right now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare before i pray for the sick that grace for sight in the name of jesus may your eyes be open to see may your eyes be open to see i open for you the vistas of the spirit with accuracy in the name of jesus christ take that grace right now hear me some of you is is a, is a spiritual inheritance where you come from has that as a grace I'm saying this as a, prophetically. You come from a background, even a denominational background, where God has given it as a spiritual inheritance. I stand in faith with that ancient mantle. I declare again for those called to the prophetic, may your eyes be open to see. just give me a minute and let this grace just just really come on people believe me there are people receiving this anointing some of you your grandfathers were prophets your fathers were prophets it's a spiritual inheritance given to you it's time for you to walk in that grace it's time for you to walk in that grace the fierce anointing the eyes that can see see beyond time see beyond science I'm ready to pray for the sick.
in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout a loud Amen in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is that guy lifting his crutches? He couldn't walk. No, 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 I'm not saying it should. Look at me, my friend. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your crutches and walk. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Walk. Walk. Lift it up and walk. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Come, walk. Don't be afraid. Lift it up and walk. He touched me. He touched me. And oh, what your something happened, and now. He touched me. My friend, look at me. What happened to you? I got an accident. How long ago? One year. One year ago. And it looks like it's not healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I declare right now, right now, healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now. I declare life to your limbs in the name of Jesus Christ. Life to your limbs. Life to your limbs. I declare a supernatural reconnection of the fractured bone. You came here believing. My friend, look at me. Stand up. Walk gently. Go. Turn and come back. I'm about to pray for the sick now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that this miracle remains permanent in your life. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. And what do you do? I computer with him. You are what? I computer with him. I, I'm not sure I got him. Computer wizard. No, don't. Oh, oh, you are not a wizard. You are, you are, compu- you are computer savvy. That's all right. Choose. You, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle for you right now. I shift you by the Spirit in Jesus' name. Now, I want to pray for you. We are still praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Let him go. He's free. I decree and declare every spirit that is back of any infirmity and any disease, I command it to give way now. Give way now. I pray from the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet, my God. I send such a strong anointing. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now. Peptic ulcer, be healed now. Migraine headaches, be healed now. I'm hearing the name gastritis. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Help that woman. That's right. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Any organ that is failing or has failed in your body, I prophesy to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let there be a brand new organ in your body now. Not just the healing of the current one. A brand new organ in your body now. Blind eyes. Open now in the name of Jesus. 
someone has received a miracle there. Is that a miracle? Someone from crutch, the crutches are lifted. Is that a miracle? If that's a miracle, that's fine. Otherwise, if he's lifting it by faith, he can send and receive. Something has happened there. Well, we promise that we will not take all there. In the name that is above all names. There's someone your right ear. It looks, I don't know if it's blocked or you don't hear completely with it. I command that ear to be open now. Every blood disease in the name that is above all names, we declare the cleansing of your blood now. Hear me, please. If there is anyone here with any troubling genotype, I stand by the God of heaven and I declare, let there be a supernatural change of your genotype. Believe it in the name of Jesus Christ. Any lump in or growth in any area of your body, breast lump, abdominal lump, lumps around your body, I cause that growth right now. I cause that growth right now. I cause that growth right now. There's someone I'm seeing is like you have a problem with your fingers. You are not able to move your hands freely. The power of God is touching you right now wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone with a severe pain around your kneecap. You are having a severe pain around your kneecap. The power of God is touching you right now. Bringing you life and bringing you healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is telling me that there is someone you have a problem, not just a problem smelling. But I don't know what it is that happened to your nose. I don't know if it's that there is a growth or there is a swelling. It's very inconveniencing. You're not able to breathe well. Right now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let there be a miracle for you now. Continue with this commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto Him as He continues in this There's journey someone, of Christianity. Please don't feel embarrassed. Then you don't have don't to come out. To like um, this video, you are don't losing weight. Drastically, people think you are just fasting, don't but this is not fasting at all. You are eating. In the what I'm seeing with the revelation sharing, God is showing me, there's something wrong with your liver. This is what I'm saying. You are losing weight completely, almost looking like someone who maybe has some, some kind of terminal disease. I don't know where that person is, but right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed from that infirmity. Every other sickness, every other infirmity mentioned or not, in the name of Jesus, be healed from it now. Be healed from it now. Please lift your prayer request. I want you to pass it very quickly. And I'll just give you a minute or two. For those of you who are visiting the, for the first time, we usually come with prayer requests just as an expression of our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we'll have the request here at the altar so that I pray and speak over it. And if you're yet to pen down your request, please you have a minute or two to just write this or you feel by the spirit that you should add something remember this is our last miracle service not the last service but the last miracle service for 2021 there's no miracle service for december because that would be during the break please write it very quickly following online you can send in your prayer requests all of the overflows please write very quickly and if your loved ones are connecting, you can stand in and write for them. Please, the moment you do that, I'd like you to do well to just pass your request. No one reads it. Pass it to the last person by the aisle and then left or right, whichever. And then we'll have our ushers come to pick it very quickly. Let's do that very quickly because we're about to pray. I love this part of the miracle service because it is the most accurate expression of our desires. 
I like you to write believing unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Believe me. Believe me. He answers prayers. Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Oh, our Father, hear us from heaven, forgive us sin. One more time. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, Hear us from heaven, forgive our sins. Please write it down very quickly. We are people of prayer. We are people of scripture based prayer. The Bible says this is the confidence that we have in Him. Our confidence is that when we ask anything in accordance to His will, His will is the jurisdiction of His response to the saints. He cannot respond to the saints outside of the scope of His word that is captured in His will. If God must grant answers to our prayers, the content, the requests must be consistent with the word of God. God does not just respond to the saints arbitrarily. He is bounded by the jurisdiction of his word. The word of God defines the coordinates for his response, his dealings with believers. This is the confidence that we have, the Bible says, that when we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And that now that we know that he hears, he heareth us, we have answers, the Bible says, to our prayers. Please quickly, quickly, let's have it when we're done. Please, let's bring it here very quickly. We cry, Abba Father, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, Abba Father, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Cry Abba Father, Hallowed be Your name. Cry Abba Father, Hallowed be Your name. Hallowed be Your name. We cry Abba Father, Two more times. We cry Abba Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Just a very quick announcement. All those, who, all those who came here to surrender their lives to Jesus, tomorrow by 5 p.m., 5 p.m. on the dot, we have a follow-up system for those who come um, to surrender their lives to Jesus. It will be at our other venue, the Daughters of Abraham, opposite Setraco. You can get more details um, from our PR desk immediately after service. But please, all those who... All those who surrendered their hearts to Jesus Christ, do well to come. 5 p.m. on the dot, we'll meet with you there, share with you a few things, and then pray for you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Please can we rise while um, we collate the request. Please make sure all the overflows and our online family connect by faith. Connect by faith. Hebrews 11 and verse 6 says, For without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh unto God must come believing that he exists, he is, 
And then number two, that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Mark eleven twenty four. Jesus was speaking and he said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, 11.24, Mark, When ye pray, he says, Believe that thou receivest it, and thou shalt have it. What things soever ye desire, When ye pray, believe that thou receivest it. You cannot have what you have not received. The protocol is that when you desire according to his will, you ask in prayer, believing, are we together? And then you receive by faith, then it becomes manifest. To have it means your hands will now handle it. But the first thing is that you must receive. And the Bible says, be anxious for nothing, it says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, make your request known. Don't assume God knows. Make it known. Make your request known. So in obedience to that scripture, we are making our request known. The cure for anxiety, be anxious for nothing, but that in everything, by prayer and the supplication even with thanksgiving we are mandated according to scripture to make our requests known unto god hallelujah praise the name of the lord please stretch your hands towards this request and just begin to pray in one moment that these egyptians i see today i will see them no more forever go ahead stretch your hands and release that word of faith let it come from the depth of your heart. Are you praying? Pray. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're praying now. You are mighty in our midst. You are mighty in this place. You're the faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, reliable God, reliable God, reliable God. You are praying, Father, we decree and declare, let there be supernatural answers to these prayers. I lay my hands prophetically by the privilege of priesthood in the name of Jesus Christ. When Hannah went to the temple to cry out her heart before the Lord, it was prophet Eli. Thinking she was drunk, she said, No, your maid is not drunk. But this is a woman communicating sorrow from her heart. And Eli spoke prophetically and sealed her desire. In the name of Jesus Christ, laying my hands upon these requests as a representation, the most accurate representation of your desires. I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let there be supernatural answers. Let there be supernatural answers. Yes. Now arise, O oh Lord. Would you come to your resting place? You and the ark of your might. And then we will rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness. Celebrate 
the bible says he that told you have asked for nothing it says ask and you will receive that your joy may be full i decree and declare whatever has robbed your joy as represented here you will never see it in your life again you will never see it in your life again you will never see it in your life again you will never see it in your life again I declare unto you by the power of the word of God that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ every human agent that must come in partnership with the Spirit of God to make for answers to this prayer we compel their ministry right now And whoever says over his dead body for this request to be answered, may their own prayer be answered. In the name of Jesus Christ, sincerely I pray for you. May God shift systems and shift structures for the sake of your request. And whoever said, where is your God? May God use the answers to this prayer to answer them back. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stand upon this request. And I declare that everything that has stood over you. In the name that is above all names. We bring it under your feet. We bring it under your feet. We bring it under your feet. We command speedy answers to this prayer. In the name of Jesus. Speedy answers to this prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please stand. We are wrapping up. Let me speak finally over your life. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you. So that ye having sufficiency in all things. The Bible says that you may abound to every good work. That means whatever spiritual engracing that will be required to make for your efficiency. It is within the power of God to supply to the uttermost. I decree and declare. Every grace needed for the next level of your spiritual efficiency. Every anointing. Every mantle every supernatural supply of grace whether as wisdom whether as favor whether as counsel whether as might whether as the grace for dominion in the name of jesus let it come upon you now whatever has left your life that should not have left the Bible says, Son of man, can these bones live again? He was not even seeing the bones he was saying would live because they were scattered and fragmented. He says, Only thou knowest. Then he said, Prophesy to these bones. And the prophet said, I prophesied as commanded, and there was a sound. I stand like Ezekiel, I prophesy as commanded. Everything that has left your life, let it come back to perfect order now. Let it come back to perfect order now. The Bible says, The king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. The king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon, never to return again. I pray for you. Whoever must send for you as a helper of destiny to bring you out of that pit, in the name of Jesus, may God connect you to them. Yeah. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 2 and verse 15b. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Verse 17 of the same chapter 2. And the king loved Esther, the Bible says, more than all the virgins. And the Bible says he took her 
He set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. The favor that enthrones in the name of Jesus, let it rest upon your life. Exodus 3 and verse 21 And I will give these people favor In the sight of the Egyptians And it shall come to pass That as ye go Ye shall not go empty Whatever makes for emptiness in your hands In the name of Jesus May the favor of God stop that season of drought In the mighty name of Jesus I pray for you, even by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit, the grace that makes for visibility. It says you cannot light a lamp and put it under a bushel, but you put it on top of a lampstand so that it will give light, illumination to all who are in the room. Many of you are gifted, many of you have been marvelously helped of God, but there is no visibility to announce you in business, in ministry. Those who need what you carry do not even know you are there. I pray for you right now, from where you are, may you rise to an elevated position of visibility. <laughs> Hallelujah. My Bible says, when a man's ways pleases the Lord, that he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. I pray for you. Those who sit as gatekeepers of systems and structures, who will not give you access because they do not like you, may the Father of Spirits manipulate their heart to your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. I pray for you. The grace that distinguishes a man among your contemporaries. May that grace for the sake of his majesty rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Have you heard of this proverb that in one day a nation is born? It says, but as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. I declare speed to your accomplishments. Speed to your accomplishments. In the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 112 verse 1. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord that delighted greatly in his commands. The Bible says, His seed shall be mighty upon earth. I pray for your children. In the name that is above all names, you will never give birth for sorrow. You will never give birth for pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit waiting at the corridor of destiny to hijack children and make sure they cause pain to parents, we crush those spirits right now. The Bible says the generation of the upright shall be blessed. I decree and declare, not only your children, but your children's children. Let the heritage of being blessed follow them. Then my Bible says wealth and riches shall be in his house. Listen, I have taught you here that there is the prophetic dimension as far as manifesting the abundance of the kingdom is concerned. The prophetic dimension will never be a license for laziness and lack of diligence. The Bible says, a diligent soul shall be made fat. Is that true? And that he that waters will himself be watered. Yet, there are times like I've taught you, where you can have a healthy net, O oh Peter. There are times where your boat is okay. There are times you are even at sea, and your fishing skill is there. But you will still not catch fish. Because it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Lord that showeth mercy. At that time, you need beyond your skill. You need the advantage of the prophetic. The Bible says, and by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was she preserved. I decree and declare, by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic, step into strange dimensions of the abundance of the
when they got to the valley of Tekoa, 2 Chronicles 20 and verse 20, the Spirit of the Lord came upon the prophet and he spoke. This is what he said. He said, believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. He says, believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. There is something called the prophet's reward. It says, he that receives a prophet, as touching the office of that prophet, there are possibilities that follow every mantle and every genuine mandate from heaven. No man sent by God comes empty. There are engracings that accompany him and that at the instance of honor, you can be a partaker of that grace. I stand by the God who has shown me mercy and shown this ministry mercy and I pray for you experience the marvelous hand of God in your life in the name of Jesus Christ last prayer point it says thou shall call Joshua in whom there is the spirit and thou shall anoint him and thou shall take some of thy honor and place on him. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. And there is a grace that makes for honor. Just because you walk in integrity is not enough for you to carry honor. Honor means that the possibility of being despised has been taken away from your life. When God places that grace upon you, even kings will entreat your favor in the name of Jesus for everyone connected to this vision everyone who is here following online inside and outside is our heritage in Christ and part of the graces that follows this spiritual tribe may that mantle of honor rest on your life in the name of Jesus Christ by this impartation Every semblance of shame and reproach, let it be torn apart. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bashka na kata branda kete katos, kete branda kata pa kotos koto pray kete kene kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.